Welcome to Pro Stitch Your Light Tutorials. Let's walk through the steps of how to quilt a design. But first, remember you need to set up your frame space. Please refer to the video on how to set up your frame space now if you don't have those instructions handy. Next, we need to select a design. So let's look on the screen. We'll choose File tab, Design, and Open. Then from the C drive, we'll choose the Designs folder, PS Designs, then we'll choose Locks. I'm looking for the Daffodil. Remember, these are alphabetical. And I just use my finger to scroll. Here's the daffodil design. I have it selected and I'll tap open. Next, I need to create an area. So let's go to my area tab and unselect frame space. We'll set up an area here. I move my machine to the top left corner of where I want to quilt my design. We'll tap two corner on the screen and it drops my first point. Now I'll move down to the bottom right corner of where I want to quilt and tap two corner again. You can always tap the refresh button so that you can see your area on the screen. Next, I want to align my design within this area. That's found under the modify tab. We'll choose align on the ribbon and this works with the design when you have an area set up. Let's choose center over here in the sidebar. It keeps that design centered. Next, I want to rotate my design. So we'll select rotate on the ribbon. This is still under the modify tab, so there's no need to select a different tab. And I can use my tools over here in the sidebar to rotate my design. That looks good, I'm happy with that. Next, I want to baseline. This freezes the changes I've made. It doesn't save anything, it just freezes them so we can move on to the next one. The next item I wanna do is resize my design. So let's select resize on the ribbon. And over here in the sidebar, I have a few options. If I touch lock, it equally changes the width and height at the same time. It doesn't matter if I have width or height selected, it will change both of them when I start hitting the plus button down here. So let's just go ahead and tap this until the design nearly fills the area. Now, if I feel like I want to make my design fill out a little bit more just in width, I can turn my lock off, choose width, and make it a little bit bigger so that it fills my area more completely. When I'm happy with this, I'll tap baseline again. At this point, I am ready to go ahead and stitch the design. So I will touch my refresh, zoom out a little bit here, and select the Pro Stitcher tab. To stitch, I need to choose the quilt button. And then in the sidebar, I need to make sure that my stitch button is turned on. If it's off like this, it, the machine will not stitch, it will just move. If I have it selected, it will stitch. I can turn on or off my tie-offs. Right now I'm gonna choose to leave them off and I'm gonna turn my pull-up on. This will actually have the machine take one stitch before I start stitching and it will allow me to move the machine and pull up my bobbin thread. So at this point, we're going to grab the top thread and I'll move my crosshairs over, my machine over, so that it's close by my start point. It doesn't have to be right on it, the machine knows where to go. I will tap the run button and I now get this verify settings screen. All the items that are turned on are green. The ones that are turned off are red and I can actually make any changes that I want to over here in the sidebar by selecting different tabs at this point if I'd like to. Now there's a really important message here. It says, make sure your needle is up. Make sure your needle is up, otherwise the machine will move and you could have a really not fun experience. At this point, everything's good. I'm gonna tap proceed. The machine will move and take that first stitch. I can grab both sides of my top thread and Pull up my bobbin thread, holding onto both of the threads. I'll touch resume 
and the machine will go ahead and start stitching. And that's how you quilt a design.